Hi there, this is Dr. Embody with Project 7. Um, warning on this, uh, we're, we're ramping things up again. Uh, last couple of projects were kind of similar in difficulty. This one's a, uh, taking a, a step up. Uh, and what we're doing is we're looking at some EPA data on mileage, kind of similar to the example that's in the book. So that, that's, that's a helpful thing for you. Um, and, uh, well, there's some construction here. Hopefully that, uh, that, that won't uh, kill, kill the, uh, uh, the volume here. So, uh, so what, what are we going to do with this? Well, we've, what's different this time is that our, our data is pretty unstructured. Uh, we've got um, multiple years of data. We have, uh, yeah, and, mul and, uh, and files for, multiple decades and within the f within those files the columns are consistent but the way they're used is not and and, and dictionaries give us a way to uh, handle that complexity so that's why this this project is really about dictionaries so, but it's very similar to in in many respects to things we've been doing there's a, there's a spreadsheet we're going to read values out of there we're going to grab some stuff out of particular columns that co part is going to be very similar. Uh, we're going to ramp it up a little bit. There's multiple files we're going to be reading from. And then we have to uh, put all that data together. And, and then we have to transform it so that we can plot it. Uh, and, and then just so, just so we have some, num you have some numbers to look at, uh, I, I had you, you know, print out uh, some averages and that gives you a sense that your numbers are, are on track. But we're going to have these multiple plots. Um, we give you the plotting routine, but you have to structure the data so that you can do that. So, so let's take a look at what, what we have here. Uh, we, um, <clears throat> we give you multiple files of data. And uh, you know they're just they're CSV files like we've had before, um, and they're they're uh, each one is a decade, right? And so we have the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, the 2010s, and and these will be specified as input as you know like you know suppose I wanted the files for 1980 and 1990, okay, fine, I would just specify it that way. You would recognize that and and transform it into the file name and read both of these files and then we're going to combine that data. Um, there's nothing that says I have to do these in order. I could specify 2000 and 1980. Uh, f you know, because we're using dictionaries, uh, this kind of thing doesn't matter. All right. Uh, what does one of those files look like? Well, here's the, um, here's the 1980s file and it, uh, you know, again, we're going to grab some columns. We specify in the description which columns. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think this is uh, the, the city mileage, a bunch of uh, ints that are in there. And, and when you scroll along, somewhere in, a, in another column is the, uh, is the make. Okay, so we're interested in, you know, like Honda, Honda, Toyota. We're not, we're not doing Nissans and so on. We don't care about the models. Uh, but one of the tricky things here is uh, there's Ford, but Mercury is also part of Ford. So, so we have to uh, count both of those as belonging to Ford and similarly with the various uh, General Motors models. And then there's another uh, column in here with the highway, maybe this one, uh, we, we tell you. And, and so those the, that, that's the, oh, and then the year. Uh, notice that this file starts with 1984, um, you know, and and you'd think it'd be nice if all these all the 84s were together and so on, but we cannot count on that, uh, and and so therefore you know so we what we can count on is that consistent across these are the column numbers, and we, we give those to you, and you can hard code those uh, the column numbers into your uh, in, into your project. Might be nice to have a have it as a uh, constant, but that's that's your choice. So, what else are we doing here? Well, we are uh, we're going to take the data, and there are multiple stages of how we handle this data. So, the first stage the, that we have with this data 
is that we read in and, and we will create dictionaries uh, that will look something like this. Uh, we might have Ford and uh, within Ford we will have uh, a bunch of years and sorry there'll be that uh, that will be a dictionary so here's an entry in a dictionary and and then there's there's two different ways that we can specify this we might have a list of lists so the uh, first list will be some mileage data this is not really what data looks like uh, and you can use the protocol that that's the city data and uh, and here is the the highway data um, close off that list close off the the first dictionary close off the second dictionary and then uh, well, let's not actually not close off the second dictionary let's put a comma put another entry in there maybe we have the year 2000 right? and it has its city uh, data and then it has its highway data all right close off the uh, city data close off the year and then I can close off the whole diction the uh, uh, the dictionary and there's an entry uh, for four so that's step one is we build that and while well, I, I could keep going here uh, yeah and then we could have uh, an entry for GM all right and it will look very similar blah 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 um, and what what I need to do is uh, after I have collected that data then what I will do is I will take each one of these and take an average of it you know so maybe the average of that is 24 and maybe the average of that is 32 and the average of that is 27 and the average of that is 15 that's step two find the averages all right uh, for each year and for each uh, you know uh, city and highway they're they're done uh, separate okay now once you have done that now we have we have manufacturers we have each year and we have the average city and, and high highway uh, uh, mileages that are available by that manufacturer each year then what we need to do is we need to the third step is to uh, is to set it up for plotting and that's basically we give you a plotting routine and now you have to uh, conform to what the, that is expecting and and it takes uh, three things it takes a list of years whatever they are 1980 that, that you have read about 1985 blah 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 up to whatever it is and and then it takes uh, it has a, uh, a dictionary called city and that dictionary has uh, you know within it it will say Ford and it will have a list of each of these values so we'll have the averages for the city for Ford so like 32 45 whatever and this list must be the same length as that list because these are averages for each one of those corresponding years and then there will be a similar an entry for GM uh, and again that'll be also be a list and then there's a highway which is uh, uh, exactly the same set but one of the important things is the every list in here has to be the same because we're going to be plotting them um, the years will be on the x-axis and and then Ford values will be on the uh, y-axis and that'll be drawn as a line so clearly you need a y value for every x value so there's one set of years 
and then there's city for each manufacturer and highway for each manufacturer. So three steps to this, and that, that's why this is um, a little messy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on step one because I think once you've got step one, um, the other two are, um, are, are easier to deal with. All right, let's take a look. Uh, and so, so there's a few things in here. Uh, I, I tell you what the manufacturers are. So Ford is Ford, Mercury, and Lincoln, GM, Chevy, Pontiac, and so on. I figured maybe people didn't know. Um, the, uh, in, in part one, we specify the columns, uh, column 46 and 63 and 4 and, and 34. That's the manufacturer of the year and the city economy and the highway uh, uh, economy. Uh, open files is uh, a little different in that you specify multiple files. Um, there are two types of errors that you have to catch and you return a list of file pointers. As always, I suggest you do the errors last um, and just return a set of uh, uh, file pointers. Uh, and then, I, you know, so, so what I'm going to focus on is this read file. Um, and before I forget, remember we don't consider year 2017 because that data is incomplete in here. Uh, and so we're going to have a have a uh, uh, we're going to be reading into a, uh, uh, a a dictionary and and returning a a, a dictionary of all the the uh, the data. Uh, and and there are there are. Um, so what so so what we do require a uh, uh, the, the requirement is that you you must use a dictionary of dictionaries, but there's a third part, and you get to choose on the uh, on the third part, but it's got to be a dictionary of dictionaries, uh, and so one possibility is to uh, have a, a, you know. For each manufacturer, you'll have a bunch of years, and then you can use two lists, say, where the first one is the city and the second one is the highway. And some people might feel comfortable with that. Uh, and the alternative is to actually have a dictionary. So we have a, a manufacturer, a year, and then we reference the city, which is a list, and the highway, which is another list. No preference on our part, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Uh, personally, I found the, uh, uh, the, the second way to be more natural to work with uh, because I didn't have to think about, okay, the city was index zero and the, and the highway was index one, but that's a personal choice. And with dictionaries, uh, there are actually three things you have to keep in uh, in mind here is that um, if the manufacturer doesn't exist then you have to uh, uh, build you, you have to start with the signing uh, a year and then the uh, the the, um, the city and highway mileage or and that can be done uh, in the other way you know to say a city and highway uh, so that's one possibility. The second possibility is that the manufacturer exists in your dictionary already, but this is a new year. Well, then you initialize your list or you initialize your dictionary. And if they both exist, then, um, then you will append, on, append values onto your list. Uh, and, and if you're using a dictionary, you specify it with the manufacturer of the year, the word city, and then you just append a value on there. And, and to summarize that, I, I, I actually, I, I took, just reset that same thing in another way, is that there's three possibilities. Right. Manufacturer is not yet a key. So we do this kind of initialization that puts it in there. Uh, second case is that the manufacturer already is in the, in the dictionary, but this year that we're looking at doesn't. So for that manufacturer in that year, we uh, add some values. And then finally, if they both exist, then we can do an append. Oh, and, and how do you check if it's in there? 
uh, you can use int. See, so if the manufacturer is in D, that checks for the key. Or if we're checking a year, is it in? The, is that year in that manufacturer? Uh, and, and so, so let, let me try to make this this concrete. All right, let's create an empty dictionary. It's got a couple of curly braces, uh, and if I tried to access you know, say, you know, is Ford in there? Nope. Uh, I can say Ford in D. All right, that's Boolean. That's false. It's not in there yet. So let's put it in there. How do I put it in there? Well, we can put it in there by saying, okay, what is an entry for Ford? Well, uh, we have to have a year. And suppose I'm reading the year uh, 1989. Uh, and I'm going to do it as a uh, as a diction as a uh, yet <laughs> another dictionary. So uh, uh, so I have the city, and it will have an initial value of, of uh, um, mileage. So I've got some Ford vehicle here, uh, and then highway will also have some value. Um, and then I close off that dictionary, close off that dictionary. And now if I look at my, uh, my dictionary D, be better to have a better name than that, I, I see that, um, uh, that there is an entry for Ford and an entry for 1989. Now the second possibility is, all right, suppose um, I, I'm reading a new year and let's let's do the year 2000 uh, and uh, you know that doesn't exist okay uh, I can look at 2000 in D of Ford and that will say false okay but notice that 1989 yeah, that is in D of Ford because it's in there we can see it's in there now all right <coughs> excuse me so let's add the year 2000 in there how do I do that well uh, D of Ford of the year 2000 will have the value and in my case city uh, We'll give it 22. Notice that's a list of one element because we're going to be adding on to that as I get more Fords in the year 2000. And then I close things off. Now when I take a look at the dictionary, I can see that uh, for Ford, I have a 1989 and I have a 2000. Well, let's add... Uh, Let's, let's add, uh, suppose we now come across another Ford from 1989. So I can take D of Ford in 1989. And, you know, what is that? That is that, is that dictionary there. So we can now index, suppose we got some city mileage. Um, I can append a value on there. Let's call it 22. Now, if I look at my entry for 1989, we see that there's now a 22 in there, and and there's the whole um, there's the whole dictionary. So there's what to do if uh, manufacturer doesn't exist. We put it in there uh, if they. If the manufacturer exists, but that particular year doesn't exist, we saw how to put that in there. And uh, supposing that they both existed, then we didn't append. Now, suppose we come across a, a General Motors car. All right, so, uh, and and we can check, is General Motors in, in my D? And the answer is no. Okay, we need to put it in there. And when I, and because there's no years in there, I have to put a dictionary entry for a year. Uh, let's put, uh, let's use the same year, 1989. All right, and then it has entries for city. Uh, 
put a 21 and a highway uh, which has a value of 44. Now if I look at my dictionary we see that there are entries for both Ford right? and so Ford has um, it has a, an entry for 1989 with a comma and an entry for 2000. Again, they separated by colons, right? Um, right it was eight, 1989 colon and then it had the city and highway and then the year 2000 colon and the city and highway and that curly brace there is the end of Ford. Uh, now we uh, uh, now we have an entry f and then there's a comma there. See the comma? There's a comma there and then we can start GM and GM has a dictionary entry and there's only one in there. There's the GM one and there's one at the end and that's the end of my whole dictionary. So if I, uh, I want to add on uh, you know, into GM. So, so suppose I'm looking at the year 2010. I can ask the question, okay, is 2010 in GM? Do I have a 2010? Now we know that's that, that we don't. Okay, so to add that in there, its value of 2000, whoops, 2010 gets a dictionary entry all right and, and in my case I have city and it will uh, I'll have a mileage of that and I'm just making up mileages here uh, that was pretty nonsensical and now I can look and and we can see that in my GM uh, in the GM that there is there is an entry for 1989 and, and an entry for 2000. Now suppose I mean 2010. Now suppose I come across another 2010 vehicle uh, and that's a GM, and I can say uh, is 2010 in GM? It is. Okay. So now when I add things to it, uh, I can say. 2010 because that already exists and I can take my city and append a value onto it. Let's put something noticeable in there and now when I look at it we can see that uh, I have appended on a uh, 99 onto my, onto my city for the year 2010 before it just had a 19, now it has a 19 and a 99. So what you're going to do is you're going to come along and when you read out of your table, you're going to have a manufacturer uh, and you're going to have a year and then you'll have city and highway data. Right? And so you'll actually um, be paired up with this. You'll, you'll append on to a city data and then you'll append on a, to a highway data. And that's how you build, you go about um, building this dictionary. I showed you it using, um, uh, using a dictionary. So there's, there's three layers of dictionaries there. Uh, you, you could use li uh, a list for the final layer if, uh, if that was your uh, preference. All right, hopefully I'll give you uh, enough of a clue to uh, get started on it.